Untamed Soldier here, and today on Black Ops 3, I'll be talking about the next Call of Duty game. Like, not information wise, but what I hope to see in this game. I know Black Ops 3 just came out, like, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago or something like that. But, you know, it's just something to talk about. It comes something interesting that I just want to talk about and bring up to you guys. Um, you know, futuristic warfare is kind of interesting with like advanced warfare even though it's a, like a really bad game for you know sledgehammer games to start in the call of duty like series um but uh the future of the warfare was kind of interesting you know seeing what the future would bring us in like the next 20 years or something like that like uh same thing with black ops 3 you know with all these like advanced like um with all the advanced technology that you know we're waiting upon in the coming years but um you know some of the stuff like the campaign of black ops 3 was kind of i just say to myself it was kind of trippy because it was like so advanced for me i didn't really catch my mind on anything <laughs> like the whole you know cyber like like cyber kinetic arms that you know your character had or like the whole you know being in this weird stage that you're you know that like you know, like computer chip that's in the in your mind or something like that you know i just kind of it was kind of weird um but you know i just hope like that this this next call of duty game that invaded war makes can you know just stay in like a near future kind of setting like they did with ghosts you know it wasn't way out there in the future but kind of like like around like eight years you know distance like it's kind of like the same thing with like black ops 2 black ops 2 was set in 2025 but that's only like 10 years away and we already saw what you know like the developers predicted that we might see in 10 years but uh you know that's okay that is kind of like a near future kind of prediction of what the future would bring us advanced warfare and black ops 3 it's kind of more you know showing you what would happen in like 30 years or 40 years from now and we can say that's like a picture or like a prediction of a, like an advanced civilization. That's cool to have, but I just kind of feel like I should, you know, we should have Call of Duty games that were set, you know, around the time of Black Ops 2, COD Ghost, you know, maybe even, you know, right now in 2015, you know, with all these like new weapons that they're, they're coming out with since, uh, you know, three five years ago and you know showing us you know bring back the ac-130 showing us some new kind of artillery that we can use you know probably like infinity war should you know have their game based around the the time period between ghosts and black ops 2 somewhere between like 2025 20, to like 2030 like you know somewhere in that middle part you know, nothing too advanced and nothing too, you know, old. Something that's like, you know, we're still on the ground. You know, jetpacks, I said, are cool. But, you know, we could probably live without a jetpack in Call of Duty. I mean, just look at COD 4, look at Black Ops 2. I mean, we those games did, like, terrific without, you know, jetpacks. And, you know, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 are like, the only two Call of Duty games that I ever tried. Well, are using jetpacks and... Uh, Advanced Warfare did pretty bad with the jetpacks. Uh, Black Ops 3 kind of, you know, with Treyarch, they kind of fixed it. But should Infinity War put jetpacks in their game, you know, just trying to, you know, go with the flow, what Sledgehammer Games did, what Treyarch did. Um, or should we just, you know, have, you know, accept, you know, what Infinity War is going to bring us. And probably, you know, there is a, a pretty good, you know, you know slim chance that there might be like a futuristic call of duty and there might be a high chance that they will continue the story of what call of duty ghost left off um but i don't think i don't i think that call of duty infinity ward if they do this game right without jetpacks i think it will be a good game i don't think they need jetpacks in order to make a good game but um you know that's my opinion um i'd like to hear your opinion so leave a comment in the comment section down below and that's all my time right now and i'll see you guys next video ever i make